Alright, so I've been hearing a lot about all of these different kinds of, you know, multiplayer, online, you know, free-to-play games with a lot of different players involved, and so I thought I'd start checking a few of them out. Uh, today we have a game called Smite, Battleground of the Gods, uh, where you play, go figure, a god. So let's see how that works out. Two teams face off from bases on opposite ends of the arena. That's a good place for those Players teams. will fight in the middle of the arena in a brawling death match, where you're going yes, to okay. defeat enemy gods and their mm -hmm. teams by reducing mm -hmm. their team ticket out to zero. So, so it's the Colosseum. Each team starts with 500 tickets. 500? In this tutorial, we will be starting with 100. Are any of them golden? Killing an enemy player deducts five tickets from the enemy team. Oh, this is gonna take a long time. I understand. Consumable items can only be used once. I I I haven't even started playing. I have to buy things. I see how this is gonna go. All right. I'm sure it's very brutal. So the first thing I gotta do is kill these creatures. Um, this is vulnerable if attacked outside this area. So, well, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a ranged weapon. I have to attack inside the circle. Oh, Alright, well, I'm so glad that I have a bow. Yep. Just smacking some soldiers with my bow. Well done. You've acquired a lot of gold. And Yay. It's time to head back to base and All right. additional items from your recommended list. Oh, more purchasing. Okay. Your current item by purchasing its recommended tier 3 rank. All right. Well, I mean, it seems like I'm doing okay as it stands. I I, I think I'm just going to keep going with this. I mean, this is slow and boring, but oh, hey, that was cool for a second. Um yep, just keep firing. Keep keep on firing. Uh, all right, everybody go toward the light. There we go. Now, the concept behind this game is pretty cool. You have, like, all these different gods from different kind of mythologies. You know, the, the Greek and the Celtic and the Mayan and, uh, you know, Japanese, Chinese, uh, and uh, all sorts of uh, great things. Norse mythology. It's, uh, it's terrific. I mean, look at all of these wonderful characters that they have in here. You can be Amaterasu and not as a, a wolf like an Okami, like as an actual person. That's pretty cool. So many great choices. I don't know who I'm gonna pick. I mean, it's just so hard. Oh! Squirrel! Sold! Alright, now it's time to use my magical squirrel powers to take on the world. How am I gonna do that? That's great. I didn't really even have to do anything. That's cool. But it's all right, everybody. I got the power of acorns on my side here. Here we go. Use the squirrel power. Use that tail. Use it. Let me go. All right. That sucked. I'm starting to wonder if acorn power is really the best kind of power for this game. Ooh, I'm a flying squirrel. Oh, that's even better. Use your flying squirrel powers. There's... There's, there's a lot more. It looks like, like you're just floating. You're a floating squirrel. That, but you're very enthusiastic. I appreciate that. Yeah. Considering you have all those acorn powers, you can surprisingly do very little in ranged combat. All right, now is your time to sh Let me go. That happens a lot. Let's yeah, let's fight. Let's make it happen. You can do it. Your left tower has oh, been you got it. I get, I'm not even there yet. I'm also loving the not Jaws soundtrack we've got going on here. Take yeah, take that. No one messes with my acorns. Uh, uh, and again. An ally has been slain. Boy, my allies get slain a lot. Uh, Alright, okay. Next time, let's try the tower. We can take out the tower. Take out the enemy tower. Take, this take it. You know what? I agree with you, Red Tosker. It is kind of stupid. I'm going to go along with you on that. The unassuming squirrel approaches the raptor. 
The raptor does not apparently see the squirrel at first. In a deadly game of cat and mouse, or in this case, squirrel and bird, who will come out victorious? Only time will tell. He is just playing the waiting game now. This deadly standoff has been brought to you by National Geographic and its affiliates. Yes, the tension rises. Who knows what we can expect now? The bird has not caught sight of this rodent yet, even though the rodent is doing everything in its power to look like part of a balanced bird diet. No, nothing yet. This is awfully disappointing for a nature documentary. Usually we need more action than this. Oh, oh, quick, switch over to camera two. 